And also, one more thing that should make your technique much easier is to notice how high you hold his hand. You have to put it horizontally, just like this. Uh, there are many people who try to make like this pushing, uh, thinking that if you have this angle, it will cause more damage or more pain. And uh, other people try to do like this, so they think uh, it will be easier to fit the hara. But the uh, hara has to be properly fit here. By doing it, we save efforts and we use our strength in a very maximized way. I mean, we use less force and have more efficiency. On the other hand, if we come like this, or if, even if we fit the hara and we try to pull his, his hand and his arm, actually we'll be wasting too much power, too much movement. When you come in Bujutsu, there's a principle that says that, a theory that states that uh, if you're practicing, with some, some colleague or uh, some reasonable practice in a dojo, uh, we can afford to miss and uh, we can afford to, to have our own experiences and then uh, realize how and when we can put more strength or less strength and what are the effects of each one. And we're talking about some life and death situation uh, as in the ancient times, we couldn't afford to have this kind of mistakes. So, in Bujutsu, there are all the studies that lead to have the maximum efficiency using uh, less force. So this is usually seen as one of the most difficult parts, or uh, it gets very hard to fit properly the hara and uh, use our strength properly. So if we follow these principles, uh, keep his wrist and his hand this way, keep his elbow stretched keep his shoulder at this angle because if we perform just like this we're giving him all the conditions to contract his back and to contract his chest and then it will become much more difficult to move or to fit our heart here and here here and then here and then we catch his arm and we just keep following this angle and our hip will spin like this. It's important that this angle exposes his humeral. From here, we keep his shoulder exposed and then we spin our hip to follow this angle and we lower our hand, our grip, so we have an horizontal line here. If this position is correct, you'll notice how fragile his elbow gets. And uh, also, if it is correct, uh, our hara should fit properly because the elbow points upwards. If our hara is pointing downwards, we have a right angle here. After we lowered our head and we have this line and his stretched elbow, hara should come, should enter and fit, and this hand should be even more stretched like this. So we could go like 